Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Zoo Live here at Hertfordshire Zoo on Friday, the 16th of August, where I'm about to take you around our brand new habitat, Gibbons, Song of the Forest, which is home to our critically endangered northern white sheep gibbons, Ethan, Ripley, and Newt. Now, follow me as I start to take you around the journey of their brand new space, starting with their new on-show house. Come on. So what I want you to do is look in here. This is their beautiful new on-show house. It's massive compared, it's basically the size of one of the outsides on their previous habitat, which shows obviously the work we're trying to do to improve their welfare here on site and their living space. Now this site of the art habitat actually features a living floor, as you can see at the bottom there, in this big on-show house. And this is designed to replicate the Nat Gibbons natural environment and obviously it provides natural enrichment as well. So they'll be able to forage within there, place different food items, scents, etc. So it's gonna be really exciting to see how they use this space. And obviously also obviously a big part of what we do here at the zoo is sustainability. Now this habitat actually includes a huge insulated gibbon house, as well as an energy saving lighting system in here. I wanna take you around outside onto the on show. You'll see that we've actually got um, a water saving pool in place too. So I can't wait for you to all see Ethan Newt and Ripley just swinging around in here, really enjoying their time. But also in the on-show area, we've got two big reptile vibs here. Now come right in close up and look at this little beauty here. This is one of our Chinese croc lizards. Hello mate. Sadly, these guys are endangered too, but they're part of the European Endangered Species Breeding Programme. So we've got two in here at the moment, but we're hoping to bring in more in future into this nice big space and hopefully have some more young to help with the actual species too. Now in the second viv, we've got a beautiful brack, um, brack, black breasted leaf turtle. Good luck spotting her though. This is Miss Tiz and I know where she is, you won't see her, but basically her shell resembles these, these brown leaves here. Hence why she's so well camouflaged as a black breasted leaf turtle. Once again, sadly, very endangered, but we're hoping to do some really valuable conservation work with these guys too. Now over this side gives you the first view into the big on-show like viewing area of the new Gibbons. So come in, come and have a look at the new space, the first view for anyone coming to visit. Now obviously the Northern White Cheek Gibbons, these guys live in the forest habitats across parts of Southeast Asia, including like I said, Vietnam and Laos. But obviously there's lots of canopy to help resemble the natural environment. Now obviously in the wild, these guys will, are omnivores, so they eat mostly wild fruit and leaves, but also small amount of invertebrates. So hopefully they're gonna be able to forage around in here and we can create quite an active social environment for them. Now coming from this, let's go and have a look at the main side from the main viewing window. As I said, we're obviously opening this habitat this morning, so some bits still have to be turned on. This is gonna be featuring lots of cool stories and interesting facts about our in Northern white cheek gibbons. So here we go, this is the main view. Look at these, these giant panels give you an amazing perspective of their new environment. It's about six meters tall, which is huge. And it, as you can see, it's got this mesh roofing, so the gibbons will be able to swing off that. It's got lots of platforms and rope in there for able to swing around and really use those natural capabilities and abilities of theirs. And if you come down nice and low, let's see if we can spot, oh, just down here, here they come. So these are some golden rud. Now we've got a few in here at the moment and over the coming months, this pool will be filled up a lot more full of these beautiful fish and maybe some others that are gonna actually be calling the habitat home with the gibbons themselves. Now this is very new to any gibbon habitat and I believe it's the first in the UK of these fish and these gibbon species. So it'd be interesting to see how they get on. And anyone that's a member or has grown up with Ethan the gibbon, it'd be great to see his interactions. He's a very social gibbon, and we'd love to see how he's going to interact with them coming forward. Now keep coming along here. How do we feed the fish without trying to actually get in the gibbon habitat, having to move them all around? Well, we've actually got this little mechanism here. We open this up and there's a little food pipe there, and that's how we're gonna be feeding the fish going forward. Now follow me round. So as you exit the main side of the gibbon habitat, you're gonna be coming past our Amazon and Beyond building, which is obviously home to the largest anaconda in the UK, Optimus Prime, who's about 17 feet now. That's a big old snake. 
But as you see, it's really nicely planted out here, trying to keep the environment as natural as possible. So Ben, we've got any questions so far about what yeah, people have seen? Why is the habitat called Song of the Forest? Ah, oh, great question. So the habitat is called Song of the Forest, and that is because of the gibbon's incredible vocalizations and that really powerful sound that you'll hear as you wander around the zoo. It's something that I've been very lucky to grow up with on site. Uh, you can always hear it from whether that's the other side of the park or even a mile or two down the road. So make sure when you're here, keep an ear out for that incredible vocalization. Any other questions? What is your favorite thing about the habitat? Oh, my favorite thing about this brand new habitat, it's gotta be the really tall scale of the actual main side of the habitat and being able to see those gibbons swinging as, and basically utilizing this space as much as possible. Because basically, I'm about to take you now to the basically SEP side where we actually help manage the gibbons, moving them around for things like vet visits, food, or any other potential reason that does crop up. And just this SEP side alone is bigger than their previous habitat. So it just shows the investment we've put in here and the improvements we want to make to ensure their welfare standards are as high as possible here at the zoo. It's actually one of the largest gibbon habitats in the UK, so we're very proud of it, and we can't wait for everyone to come and see it. Now, what we're coming through now, just before we show you the, uh, off the um, separate side, is swing by the Factual. I'm gonna tell you a couple just before, but you have to obviously come along and visit the new habitat if you wanna read the rest. So, unlike other apes, gibbons have a very long hook-like hands, which help them grasp onto branches as they move through the forest habitats. So obviously, as you can see on this lovely little graphic here, this is what you'll be seeing, especially Ethan, he absolutely loves just tearing around um, and really basically showing off his impressive strength and his mobility through the habitat. Another one, the cheek of it. So how do you tell the males and females apart? Well, the adult males actually are black and that's where they have these big shining white cheeks, whereas the females are more of a lighter color uh, probably going with, well, they've got dark brown here, I would have said light brown, but we'll go dark brown and with the white cheeks too. So they're three very, very special gibbons for us. As you see, the TV's off, but this will, we're going to be doing the ribbon cutting and that very soon. And also with these gibbons, if you've seen onesie free, it features me and my brothers, as well as our amazing team and animals across the site. There's big news coming about onesie free very soon, so keep an eye out on our socials. But the gibbons also feature quite heavily on that. Or oh, quickly, why are you just here? There's Ethan. And we've got some of the others as well, already utilizing the new space, relaxing on their platforms early in the morning before obviously the big unveiling later today. And as I mentioned, this is their separate site to help manage them across their habitat. Uh, oh, there you go, look, utilizing those new rope features, looking at those impressive arms. And just talking about those impressive arms, obviously, how do you match up? Uh, sorry, yeah, how do you match up compared to a given? One half meters, you think of the size of the gibbon, it's got pretty much the same arm reach as myself. That's just mad. It's really cool how it all works. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of behind the scenes, uh, a bit of an insight into what the gibbon's new habitat looks like. We're super excited for it to be going live very soon. I'm gonna get you to come in one more time, just have a nice look at the space. Obviously it's a huge project for us on our 40th anniversary of the zoo, and obviously our rebrand to Harpshire Zoo. So we hope you come along very soon. Um, other things at the zoo this summer, obviously with the weather being so hot, we've got Boulders Beach, so make sure to come and cool off there. We've got lots of incredible animals that are cooling off in the, um, the heat as well, with their big pools. Uh, we're doing all different types of enrichment, such as hose, the hoses on them, ice lollies, even blood ice lollies for the big cats that they absolutely love, uh, as well as much, much more. So make sure to come along. And uh, thank you for tuning in this morning. Some other events coming up very soon is we've actually got Red Panda Weekend this weekend. We've got Peppa Pig coming to the zoo on the 23rd of August, so make sure to come along for that if your kids are mad Peppa Pig fans, as well as much, much more coming up soon. But we hope to see you this summer while the weather's still nice. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.